Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I haven't been for about seven weeks but uh, I've been doing various things. I've had a holiday to Canada and uh, things like that but we're back on it again. We've come to Saltwick Bay today. It's not the best of tides, it's midday and it's blowing a gale but hopefully there's been some uh, new fossils revealed. So fingers crossed we'll find something interesting today. If not, it's a, it's a nice time out on the beach, isn't it? There we go, this is the way down. Beautiful day though, although it's windy. And it already looks like we've got some fossil collectors there. Just around there. Yeah, it looks like uh, there's a group of people down there. I'm not sure if it's a fossil tour or what, but uh, there's definitely a few people down there. Should be quite interesting. Tide's well in, even two hours after high tide, but there you go. What can you do? Yeah, there's definitely a tour down there. Oh well. Right, so looking at all, all the shingle, we found our first deck. It's not that well preserved so you've got that piece there which looks really good and then it's flat so I won't, I won't be taking that one still nice to see yeah it's nice to be out I've been out in ages so we've got a a bellum night wearing out here that was a squid like creature and I've just found a corky nodule just looking at that. Look at this nodule here. Now that is a corker, isn't it? That's got to have an ammonite, hasn't it? You would think, I can't see anything. There's a nutshell just here. Can't see anything. We'll have to give it a tap with a hammer. Right, so we've just give this nodule a tap with a hammer, and I was right. There we go, look at that. A beautiful keel, exposed. So we'll take that, and we'll prep it at home. I know there's one in there now, but look at that, what a beaut. Just searching through all these, these rocks, and there's a, there's a dead seal, bless it. It's big. I don't know what's happened to it. it. Does smell a bit. Uh, not good to see. But let's carry on. Well, there's plenty of plant fossils just here in the sandstone which is quite nice to see be nice to find a really good fern so here we are we've reached this uh, little beach now where all the shingle is haven't seen anything just that one deck so we're going to make our way over there to the Admiral Von Trump Right, we're on the uh, on the shale. All the brown stuff's dying off because it is October, which is good. So it's still slippy, but not so slippy. And the tide is well in. Three hours after high tide. So somehow I don't think it's going to go out much today. We'll observe. 
and look at the situation. Yeah, they say that nav there looks like Donald Trump if you look at it at the right angle. It does a little bit. I think over there is uh, Black Nav. And then we're coming into the glorious sunshine. And we've got some oyster catchers just down here, which is quite nice to see. They're just down there. Some bathing, they haven't seen me yet. But again, when you look at that, it's it's quite in. And there's the uh, Admiral Von Trump, still underwater. Yeah, we've got a beautiful half posture salmonite in the shale here. All nice and piratized. Nice to see. Right, so we're on the beach now and I've just found another nice ammonite find. This is how easy it is. See the keel? Walking out of there. There we go. It'll all be in there. That's nice. Put him in the bag. And you can see the uh, the sea hasn't gone out much, it's three hours after high tide. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Right, we've found three likely looking nodules that may contain something and may not. Let's crack them up and see what happens. Well, sadly nothing in those. It would have been a great if there was a hildy in it, but uh, nothing I'm afraid, so we're still on the search. Yeah, it's a beautiful day today. piece of driftwood there well we've just found a really big nodule just at my feet here so we're going to give it a tap and see if anything's inside nope right so we've spotted another ammonite it looks like a Peronoceros, but is it all there? I don't know, it could be a, a small one, but looks quite chunky. I'll take it home and prep it anyway and see. Don't think it is, but it's interesting, isn't it? Got a few other rocks, there's a, a Bellum Knight just in there. Just looking around all these nooks and crannies and uh, you never know what you might find. Oh, I've just spotted another one. Is it all there? Is it all there? I think it is. You see it? Oh yeah, look at that. There we go. Another one for the bag. Right, I think I've found another one. Another jack. If he's all there, oh, he's going to be all in there, isn't he? Look, only a small one, but a beauty. Right, we're starting to get into some finds now, which is good. So we've had a few dax, and that's Peronoceros. And the uh, the tide is slowly going out. 
Well, I'm going to keep an eye on it though, because it might not go all the way out, you see, and uh, I might have to hurry back. Well, that is the most important thing, even though you're looking for fossils, make sure you keep your eye on the tide, because you don't want to be cut off. Ah, you see there? There's a dack in there, look. Get it in some light. Just in there. And it's a perfect rounded nodule. You can see a bit more there. So that's good. So we've got two. Looks like it's going to be a dacky day, I think. Still, I don't mind that. It's nice to be out. Yes, yeah, so I always say it's always best to look in the nooks and crannies when you're fossil collecting because you never know what you're going to see and when you tend to get your eye in you tend to find some uh, some really good stuff now I don't know if it's all there but that is a nice small Peronoceros you see the nodes on there? Uh, I think it might be missing a little bit just there where it's been blown but I think most of it will be in there nice little Peronoceros that like I say I'll take it and I'll prep it adds to the character sometimes they, they do blow out there the uh, the air chamber there but uh, still nice we'll have that one Right, I've spotted another nodule. Looks pretty good. Just down here. Is there anything in it? Ah, yeah, you can see the keel there. There's another dacky dacky in there. Nice one. I love that. So we've got about 10 dacks up to now. Two Peronoceros. It's not bad, is it? Yeah, I don't fancy prepping that pyrite nodule it'd be a bugger to prep I reckon well we've got a super pyritic deck just here there we go, that's another one. He's not too bad, there's not too much pyrite on that, so I'll take that back. So, we're not doing too bad today. Oh, that would have been a cork, wouldn't it? Oh, look at that. That would have been a corking deck. Somebody's got a good one there. Yeah, so there's plenty of stuff to find. No, there would have been a, a nice one in there, but it's been split. Well, that's it for me now. Uh, I'm working my way back to the car. Around 15 ammonites, not too bad. You know, some nice Peronoceros, some small ones, and some decks. Well, that's uh, well, that's all. But we've got some fossils, haven't we? There's always something to find on the uh, North Yorkshire coast. So if you've liked this video, please like and subscribe and we'll be out again hopefully in another couple of weeks. So thanks for watching, I do appreciate it and I'll see you in the next episode. Yeah, just walking back to the car and uh, I must have been blind. I missed the, uh, the dead whale. So we've seen a seal and now there's the dead whale. It's all sort of like going off and uh, getting covered in sand that'll eventually get uh, washed away by the tide but uh, I've managed it over those rocks 
and uh, it wasn't a very good tide today I think it was about two meters and uh, as you can see it hadn't gone out much but we found a few finds so uh, let's get back to the car and head home and uh, happy days